Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're going through a video that it's an awake call for developers and generally the company that has the game and I feel like they have done autoplay the last develop you know they did for the game there is like the autoplay button they have play we have into the game modes they press the same button on creating the game from uh, characters from everything and generally this uh, you know character wise it's just the one side the other side it's even sadder it, it's the side of the game monetization they have dropped putting updates even on the deals that they want you to buy they have dropped you know they're not refreshing anything this is like two and a half years old fight pass and generally i'm gonna run about the game because i feel like they are not paying attention on anything they have super outdated things on it i'm gonna talk about through some changes i wish they could do and i'm gonna tell my opinion with the data i gov i gather you know I gather actually from my community post, I am doing in my channel uh, some community posts and I'm gathering some opinions from you fans, you know, when I'm announcing some live streams, I have had this idea to collect some data from you, if you are free to play, how fast you're getting your tier 4s, how much long you're playing this game and I'm going to explain through these numbers uh, and of course, it's the numbers from my channel, you know, it's small, it's not like uh, 1 million players or something, but it is what it is. And the way, and the only way to fix this and make my, uh, you know, the data I'm gathering better, uh, it's of course you smashing the like button, smashing the subscribe on the channel and go into my community post and answer these polls I'm doing every week for you so i can have some info about the database of the players that actually playing the game paying attention on youtube on content creators and all this stuff so yeah let's go through that let's start from somewhere because uh this is a never-ending rant if you want to say bad things about marvel, about marvel future fight there are multiple things that they are not going well and one of these things is uh, the main thing that you are seeing when you are getting into the game you know they are advertising it's like future pass guys it's a future pass this future pass it's featured on every single game not only uh, marvel future fight it's like a, a counter-strike thing uh call of duty on every single uh, marvel snap also they have you know a future pass that every single month you can get something extra through paying something in front like it is Tony Stark stars uh, but for items and unlocking special futures and stuff like that sorry nuke but no they have the same shit here the last three years the only thing that they want you to pay ten dollars it's this icon and after even worse they want you to pay 30 extra dollars to get another icon and I'm saying one icon and one another icon because all the rest of the rewards are completely disgusting. They are like disgusting in a whole level. Uh, they're tier 3 materials. This is outdated so much and they should care about the things that they are selling. It's just the new year, you know, I was doing in my previous video, I was saying, you know, set new goals about 2024, say that, say this. I was saying different things, you know, I was optimistic and stuff like that. But in this video, I don't want to be this dude. I want to be the guy that finds out that everything in the game, it's disgusting. And I mean, I asked people, I asked people if they want to spend. And you know what the answer was? People want to spend on this game. And what, what I'm talking about, I asked actually uh, during the December, you know, during uh, this update, I ask, you know, how much money are you spending, guys, on the game, you know? Are you free to play? Do you spend on your accounts? And I took like 674 votes and people, 39% of the people said that they are free to play. So let's say 40% are free to play. But look at this. There is another 35% that only spend for Tony Stark stars. So they are going for the good deal, you know, but small amount of money. There is other 21% that's 21% of the whole uh, 600 which spends for Tony Stark stars 
and the heroic quest chest that I'm doing and some extra deals on uniforms, on seasonal and stuff like that, which, which is like 30, uh, almost $30 per month on this game. So these people probably and the Tony Stark people could go and buy a future pass. If the future pass had like swords, selectors for runes or had like something like, uh, you know, tier four materials, everyone would go and buy the future pass thing. Everyone, com literally, I don't believe that these two category of people, actually three, the 34 here, 21 here and 6% they set up and take my money whales, you know, that they're spending every time. So the game has some, uh, you know, customers, we players, that they want to spend a small amount, like the 10 euro the pass cost, but the pass, no one is buying the pass. I haven't done a poll about the pass, but I'm completely sure that no one is buying this pass because they're outdated two and a half year. It's almost three years in May, it's gonna be three years because the last update was when the tokens introduced on GBR Dormammu, you can figure it out, uh, from the tokens that they are actually on the uh, future pass, you know, in the end on the first tire. And this is the best that they did. The tokens are for free to play. But if they had in the second token 600 more tokens or 300 more tokens and some tier 4 materials, you know, here there is this uh, Madelaide Gems, there is this Awakened Crystals that now, if you're playing ABX and TBL, they fixed ABL and ABX and they we're getting a lot of them. So we don't need this future pass to look like that. And people, you see, people is spending for the game. There is no, there is the 40% free to play and you can give them something else than gear up kit here, of course. But this future pass, in the other games, guys, the value, it's like spending... It, in, in Marvel Snap, for your own information, in Marvel Snap, if you spend for future pass, the 10 euros, you know, per month, you're getting value on 50 euros or 60 euros in-game materials. You're getting extra skins, you're getting extra gold, you're getting extra crystals, you're getting so many stuff that these 10 euros you're investing, totally worth. And you also getting one unique item, a card, that, uh, you know, in the game could be like a special uniform, could be a special icon like they already have, but, you know, only the special icon feels like a ripoff and no one is paying for this bullshit. But it generally feels outdated and this is not the only thing that feels outdated. Uh, also, you know, the number one thing everyone is whining about and they are right. This challenge bullshit, bro, 25 crystals, really? I mean, why? After eight years, you keep the same numbers of crystals. There are not extra rewards here. There is the same shit here all of these years. Daily trivia, okay, hooray, hooray. Not special thing for anything. Achievements are left there. Only the new characters that are joining the fight or you have something to unlock for crystals, you know. They could have some other achievement score rewards, you know, if you collect like 50% of the roster at level 70, if you complete something, you get something else, you know, they're not paying attention. They have left the game into autoplay, literally, I believe that. They need to fix the rewards we're getting. They need to fix the, the you know, the deals in the shop. They literally came up to the new year dropping these deals which is disgusting. I mean, you have to pay $100 three times to get a P-card selector or two times, so $200, uh, to get like half of a tier three. Actually, perhaps a, a half of a tier four here, perhaps a tier four if you're really lucky. But yeah, let's say two thirds of a tier four. So yeah, they, they are not even thinking what they're dropping. Look at this bullshit, bro. Who is going to pay the amount of Madalay Gem and Awakened Crystals? You're farming that in like three days of ABX and ABL and World Boss Legend and less than three days now, actually. And they're giving you 2,000 crystals to give you this uh, and it's 224. I mean, who thought that? This is funny? You're making fun of us, 224? They, they look like the date you're... Uh, what are we going to do with 224 here? Guys, are you crazy? Are you mad? 
224 carbonadium and solofaltine for 30 euros? Are, are you mental? Are, are you crazy, guys? 200 for 30 euros when in the same time, you people, you people, after two and a half years, are selling for 40 euros, 1,000. So you're telling us to pay 10 euros less to get tier 4 materials, which is one fourth of the actual deal exists in the game already two years. So whoever is sitting on the marketing, you know, whoever is the headmaster of uh, marketing team or whatever you're thinking, please guys, wake up, wake up. You're making people dropping the game. The new players are not staying into the game, not because uh, the game uh, is bad, the game, not, you know, it's not like that. The people are dropping because they can come here in the dispatch shop and by mistake or because they're new players can spend actually 600, 600 crystals, 600 crystals on a peak on a card that costs five, uh, that it's five star. If someone is new player seeing, oh, Punisher, comic card, this could be cool. You're not protecting new players. You're having these disgusting things here in the shop. Uh, there is a CDP here. I saw a dude the other day. Uh, here there is a deal that you can get CDPs, right? Okay. You can get CDPs here. Uh, let me show you the rewards. Uh, yeah. They are saying here P cards, CDPs. This thing here costs 6,750 crystals. If you manage to get it here, costs 6,700 crystals. These crystals are the same amount that you can go and spend on the PT timer and have the chances to get other CDP during uh, the sale of the specific CDP. So it's like making fun of the guy who is going to buy it. Uh, or, I mean, what, what, why are you doing that? It's, try, it's like you're trying to make, uh, you know, to, to make people do mistakes that they're gonna drop the game after. There are people playing the game like for 20 days to farm this 600 and you are, you're having this here without any remorse, you know? You need to fix everything, guys. You can't let the game modes being like that. You said that you're gonna drop dispatch mission. Where's the dispatch mission? What takes too lo so long? It's like one year we didn't have anything. This Asgard bullshit giving only uh, the tier three materials without tier four materials and yeah we were waiting we're waiting for one year and there is no new sector there is nothing going on no story mode nothing else nothing new no new characters here Not, uh, uh, hello it's anyone there who is developing the game epic quest same bullshit nothing this movie was out at 2021 now it's 2024 it's like three years it's two and a half actually because uh, I think the movie, uh, oh no, it's three years. It's more than three years actually. Yeah, it's more than three years. And there is not a single epic quest and no one is playing the epic quest guys. We did a section with Cynic Alex the other day, you know, on my uh, podcast and we talked about epic quest. We talked about uh, legendary battles. And we said that there is no reason for anyone to play these game modes and not even build the characters. This, all these characters are outdated. There is only one epic quest having any value and that's because of Jean and Magneto. The rest of the epic quest, of course, okay, yeah, sorry. There is also Deadpool that you could get Cable and also, uh, but you can get Cable without this, so yeah. So it's like this one for Doctor Strange and this one for Wolverine, uh, Magneto and Jean. But still, there is no reason for anyone to come back after completing it to play. So a weekly thing like you're doing for boss, uh, boss of the day with World Boss Legend, you could do the same for Epic Quest. You could do the same for a Legendary Battle. And this thing gonna show to people that you care about the game you're developing. That you actually care for people uh, paying the money that I told you that they are paying, you know, people are paying the money. They, they want to pay some dollars to you to play the game proper and you can't deliver even deals for them to buy.
Another poll I had done was like how fast people are farming their tier 4 materials. You know, these days there is World Boss Legend, there is uh, GBR, uh, and there is also other World Battle, Shadowland, and Alliance Battle Legend that you can farm tier 4 materials, and this accelerates your progress on the tier 4s. And look at this means like uh, 20 to 27 days it's seven percent so this is the, the real hardcore that managed to you know go full abl or buying tier four packs or whatever it's only seven percent 27 to 35 which i am in this uh, number it's 15 percent they are taking the maximum you know of their tier four materials daily they're grinding the game no tier four packs and 40 percent are 35 to 45 which I used to be before I start doing ABL more, you know, consistent. And they did that with ABL and it was a great surprise that they give the tier 4 materials there. But look at this, 40%, 15 here, 7 here and 38 more than 45 days. The people that need more than 45 days actually are new players or players that they are not like uh, in their level in the game that they can farm everything. So less than 40% are actually new players and they can't play uh, on a big level to farm everything. And the rest, they're like big boys. They're 63% are farming the game daily for the tier four materials. And this is like huge numbers, really big numbers. You know, for a game, the database and the, the main core of the game, farming it at the absolute net level and they are not casual players, you know, this is really important. People are engaging with the game daily. And with these numbers here, this is the last poll I'm going to mention, actually. Uh, you can see here uh, how much time people are playing the game. Less than a year, it's only 15% and the rest... It's two years and uh, one year and above, actually. It's 29, to, uh, 23%, six to eight years. So six to eight years and uh, from day one, a really veteran, it's 40%. 40% of the people plays more than five years. And guys, I'm not doing a lot of things in my life, generally, more than five years. I don't know about you, but... This is a huge accomplishment. Net Marble and Marble Future Fight has managed to have all these people playing the game daily for more than five years. And these people wanna pay. As you saw from the previous poll, they wanna pay. And the game are not, you know, the developers are sleeping. They are not there. They are not introducing good deals. They are not changing the challenges. They are not giving daily rewards. They are staying outside of the game and they are looking from a distance and say, you know what? We're gonna copy paste Loki with the previous and no one's gonna notice. We're gonna drop a tier four thing that perhaps is gonna work, but we don't actually care. And after two months, you know, perhaps we fix it, perhaps not, who cares also? They haven't done nothing after the uh, Doctor Strange update. They did some changes on Odin. I saw that from Alex's video. Uh, but yeah, after that, they haven't done anything. I didn't realize before I saw Alex's video, but indeed, they are not paying attention to the player base. Loki, Hela are like characters that took something, but they already keep the same value and the same ways to use them in any game mode. The game generally these days feels so dry, there is no new game mode and other than that, I'm gonna say, you know, there is the, the new players that you're gonna engage into the game. You don't have put out already, you know, after two and a half years, actually it's almost two years, you haven't dropped a tier 4 selector for new players, a tier 4 selector for uh, logging, a tier 4 selector somehow, you know, People wanna go and get all the metas. You can't hold everyone behind all these daily tier 4 materials. You know, if someone is a new player and they want to catch up with the meta and they want to pay for the game, the game doesn't help them. The game does not give to anyone the chance to catch up with others. If you actually now want 10 tier 4s, the game tells you that you need actually to grind the game at least 10 months to get them. And if you don't want to do that, you need to pay something that costs like a kidney's black market or something. It's like 100 euros, half tier four. 100 euros. So you want 
200 euro if you want to start now and get all abx abl metals you need like 200 euros per character it's like 10 characters so we're talking about uh two thousand dollars if you want to start playing the game now so instead of doing that do something you know to get tier 4 materials over time so they can form like two tier fours per month instead of one tier four per month something to double uh, you have in the boss of the day you know uh, as a vip if you if you have the how it's called uh the agent shield support thing you're getting some extra rewards on world boss legend uh, and this is not only for world boss legend this was for world boss ultimate 2 and guess what it's ctp reforged core so yeah congratulations if you want to go and be in the sealed support you're gonna get this bullshit and i mean there is some extra black antimatter that you could get but literally they are not doing anything if here it was like tier 4 materials like some carbonadium people could wail on it people could pay for it i could pay for it for sure you know ten dollars or something so we can rush the progress on the tier fours and this helps veterans that are want to spend and new players that they want to go and catch veterans free to play guys that are grind the game one and a half years and two years now they already have the 10 meta tier fours you're holding behind the people that actually want to pay the game you're holding behind whales you're holding behind new players that they want to invest on the game and play now fast and coach up with the meta i mean okay there is so many things that i could mention but yeah generally we need net marble to interact with the content creators interact with through their forum uh with players you know more and more actively do we want them to uh let us know what they you know their plans on their game we want to know what they are that they are supporting content creators they should drop something here you know inside the game that could sell you a, a notice that this content creator can uh, help you with this with Shadowland. because in game there is nothing for players a new player never gonna learn and never gonna know that he actually to play the game proper need 50% ignore defense and 50% reduce cooldown there is no explanation on how to play the game generally the the review things that they did in the skills are cool but they are not actually explaining how to manage to proc how to manage and they and they have the content creators that they give them the coupons and they are not mentioning these dudes ever you know there is star creator program that they are dropping a post in the forum and no one cares and they never mention the content creators ever again they could do like mentioning five of them each month and give them a role to promote specific game modes to promote specific how to's there is so many things that they actually can engage with the game and we did a whole list with alex the other day in the video it was like one hour and a half video but yeah i'm trying to summary this up and tell you that i really i'm really pissed off and I know I'm the dude, I'm always positive and stuff like that, but this time, bro, I'm I'm getting bored. And the game, the developers are sleeping. They're sleeping big time, and yes, okay, uh, you know, there are payable uniforms, there's gonna be payable uniforms everywhere, we can't fix that, but at least pay attention on the game you want us to pay for. Free-to-play, have all this stuff, okay, they could lose the uniform, I totally get it, but don't focus on the uniform only you drop a uniform two weeks now and you're not d doing any deals you're not saying anything you're you're like holding like this and say okay how many rocks we're gonna sell oh that's a good amount keep it up keep it up push more uniforms this is not the way things should be done you know drop the uniform but drop something else also uh content you know content new game mode reworks drop something bro you're sleeping and you have auto play the developer team bro i have to tell you that net marble okay wake up guys wake up yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure if anyone i, I swear i'm not sure if anyone paying attention on the content creators i'm not sure what they're smoking but 
Wake up, guys. I love the game. I want to keep up with that. Let me know, guys, down below in the comments your opinion about the game. What's going on? Why they are sleeping? Why? Are you going to pass? Uh, are you going to buy fight pass if the fight pass was decent with tier 4 materials? I would. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you into the next. Kisses in your faces.